Okay, in today's video, we are going to be using Uniques versus Anime Adventures in Update 14 and see on how far we will go in the infinite run. So the units we are going to be using are... Yo, over heaven, oh my goodness, it is the man himself, Stain Hero Slayer, who is one of the new units, by the way, in this Update 14, and Lorum, Hippie, I the one. And Heathcliff, admin, who is one of the new units added in this update too. And finally, Homura, time traveler. Yippee! But remember, if you enjoy these types of videos, subscribe and like. Bye bye, Robux. Bye bye. Wait, what do I want on him? I think I want less SPA, less damage. Less SPA, less damage. Less SPA, less damage. Less SPA. Less SPA. Ooh, you know, I'm gonna keep that for now. Then I want less SPA, less damage. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna keep this for now. Oh my goodness, that is so good. All right, I'm actually looking forward into this challenge since I haven't used the uniques, my uniques in this infinite run. So I'm sure you guys are also excited too. Oh my goodness, this cosmetic is goofy. <laughs> It's so huge, but it looks so cool too. And the first unit we are gonna be using is our Stain Hero Slayer. So Stain is one of the newest units added in this update 14, and he turns out to be one of the best ground units, especially with his overpower ability that he will get at later upgrades. And let's go place him right here. Actually, maybe, yeah, right here. So... He's not multi-hit on placement, which is such a shame. And we're just gonna place our units at the front. So we can just... Fast in this infinite up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. His animation, his attack animations are so clean. And just so fine, bro. Alright, let's max upgrade our Stain Hero Slayer. He is surprisingly very cheap to max upgrade, as you guys can see. And oh my goodness. Look at his stats. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> so how Stain Hero Slayer works with his ability is whenever Blood Turtle is activated, Stain's damage will deal three times more to every bleeding enemy inside his range. And this ability can crit 4.5 times of Stain's current damage, as you guys can see, does have crit, <laughs> as well as it stuns enemies for two seconds. And he, his ability is not global. Technically, you can spam it. And there is a 10 seconds cooldown on enemies who have been affected by the ability and the ability cooldown is 20 seconds. Which means pairing Stain Hero Slayer with air bleeding units will be insanely good. Especially he will be able to attack those air enemies that are bleeding when the blood curdle ability is activated. Pog! And alright, so the next unit we are gonna be using is our Heathcleef. Let's go Heathcleef. Let's just place him right here. He doesn't have that much range. So we're just gonna place him right there. Look at him. Heathcliff Admin. Sheesh. Look at him. So Kayaba is one of the newest units added in this update 14. Heathcliff is one of the cheapest units to max upgrade. Especially he will be useful for physical infinity castle rooms. With his immense damage at max upgrade with unique. And even without unique. Heathcliff admins still have an insane amount of damage which makes him one of the best damage per second unit especially he is pretty good for early waves too on how much he does on placement like bro with unique he's already doing 91,000 damage like that is honestly crazy at this point it's 92k so damn look at that 551,000 damage yet yet damn look at this so when we activate blood curdle Look at the animations, bro. Sheesh. It's so unfortunate that he's not full AoE. I would have loved to see him being a full AoE, but it is what it is. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's max upgrade our Homura. I mean, <laughs> Cliff. <laughs> this guy. This guy. Alright, so the next unit we are going to be using is our Homura Time Traveler. So that is why I got confused, everybody. <laughs> Put our uh, Homura right here. Let's go. Homura Time Traveler. Homura is one of the best secret units out there after her getting a rework, and now her time stop is every 15 seconds. And Homura 
is incredibly overpowered. So I definitely recommend getting this unit right now. And how to get home to a time traveler is through the witch city wool purchase secret portal, which you can craft using four time traveling shards. And you can get these time traveling shards through the tier five and above witch city portals. Yeah. Damn, this looks clean. Looks clean. Okay, let's go, buddy. Jeez, and he's already at her full... I mean, he's already at her <laughs> hybrid form. That is crazy. At later upgrades, she will be able to hit both air and ground enemies. And she's insanely overpowered for Infinity Castle. Especially on how cheap she is to max upgrade with her time stop as well. Like, it's just crazy, honestly. So, I definitely recommend trying to get unique on Homura Time Traveler and unique Usopp. And your physical team is literally that. Like, that is just crazy. I trust me, guys. I got to Grandmaster, the top 10, with just Homura, Time Traveler, and Usopp. They're, they are just crazy, man. All right, let's go max upgrade to Homura, Time Traveler. Let's go. So the next unit we are going to be placing down is our Dio Over Heaven. Let's go. Dio Over Heaven, actual hype. It's so hype, bro. <laughs> so Dio Over Heaven is still the best hybrid and support unit in this update 14. As he has a time stop at placement which freezes the whole entire map for 20 seconds, both ground and air enemies, and affects bosses too. So that is why he is insanely pog. <laughs> and all right, let's go max upgrade him. Yippee. Sheesh. Let's go. And we need to make our Homura time traveler. We need to make our Homura time traveler only attacks air enemies. I've realized that most of the units I have equipped for this challenge doesn't even hit air. The only unit that hits air is Dio of Heaven and Homura Time Traveler and Pride the One. And the rest are just ground. So, good luck to us later on. Alright, let's max upgrade our Dio of Heaven. Sheesh. It still surprises me on how much damage he does, especially on how long ago he was released, but still meta till this day. But anyway, the next unit we are gonna be using is our Lao Room. So Law, look at this boy. Yeah, Law Room. Let's go. So Law is one of the best meta support, especially in leaderboard runs and the best damage for Magic Infinity Castle Rooms. Yes, sir. So what makes Law Room insanely strong unit is that at placement, he has an ability called Shambles. Look at that. Shambles. Yeah. So when activated, the enemies will be teleported back depending on how big his range is, making Sniper trait, Divine trait becomes one of the best traits to have on Law, but the best trait you can have on him is unique as he does insane amount of damage and will be useful for Infinity Castle rooms. Yes sir. Alright, let's upgrade him. Look at this boy. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we need to turn on our blood curdle. Damn! Wait, when I used Stain Hero Slayer, did I place him at the back? I don't even remember. Ah, that makes sense now. My Stain Hero Slayer's range was 40. But since I got a curse on him, it made his range worse. But it is what it is, and let's go. Oh my goodness, he is so strong, bruh. Look at them. You guys are gonna go down. Yeah. Sheesh. Let's go. Alright, let's max upgrade our law. Pog, look at him. He does so much damage. It still amazes me. But anyway, the next unit we are going to be upgrading is our Pride the One. Look at this boy. So, Pride the One is still the best ground unit in this update 14. Especially, he has one of the biggest full AoE circle with him having a low SPA and insanely strong damage per second. And at later upgrades, he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies. And... He also buffs himself from placement for 15 waves, which I recommend placing Pride the One as soon as possible. So you can get all his buffs in, and he has meta for leaderboard runs with his huge full AoE. So he is definitely a must have if you are doing leaderboard runs. Yes, sir. Look at him. Goodbye. Yes. Yes. Look at them go. Easy, bruh. Alright, let's go. Wave 60. I'm thinking that I should have used Usopp or Eren instead. Because I had enough money to max upgrade every single of my units. 
and we're not gonna struggle for a long time so i think bringing Aaron or Usopp was the best idea but you know what maybe in the next challenge it's good that we didn't use Aaron today because i've always been using Aaron in my unique challenges so bro we already have wave 71 i didn't realize that i've killed the boss but anyway let's go too easy for us that i did not even realize let's that's pretty pog bro let's go wave 80 bro give us cheetah please give us cheetah right now bro bro look at this bleeding damage it's actually crazy on how much bleeding damage he does man like what in the world Eesh. and the boss is butterfly is that 10 million health yeah it is 10 million health well our team our units can easily kill this boss <laughs> easy bro <laughs> it's crazy how uniques can just do this much damage bro Augers. goodbye butterfly i want to use law Come on, let me use law right now. Shambles. Eesh. They're all back there. That's crazy. Let's go. Wave 90. We're going pretty strong right now. We are doing pretty good. Alright, who is the boss? Butterfly again, bro. Why are you giving us this boss? Like, we got this boss from last wave. Hello? From the last boss, we got butterfly. They could have given us cheetah or something but why butterfly nande easy let's get it sheesh shambles all right wave 100 fog i wonder how long we will last here man how long did we last on the last one? I think we didn't last that long, so I expect to last longer here. Especially we're using all meta uniques. So that's pretty fog. Alright, Ant Queen. I'm gonna die, bruh. I have strong units. Especially my Heathcliff admin having 1.5 million damage, bro. That is insane amount of damage. But I still prefer full AoE units though, man. Like, I wish I had more full AoE units than this team. Like, my only full AoE unit is my Pride the One. So we will actually struggle in later waves. Since most of our units are AoE circle, not full AoE. Which is not the best. But it, it is what it is. Let's just try our best and see on how far we will last in this infinite run, bro. Because if we don't last that long, we can just do this challenge again. In the next update so we'll be fine all right Aunt queen you're gonna go down how much health is that is that one two three four five six seven eight there's only 45 million health that's not a lot it's easy Yeesh. all right let's use shambles again oh i'm frozen okay i'm more back oh my goodness shambles Let's go. It's Rage Ant. Man, Rage Ant. Bro, he's actually tanky. <laughs> Find the world. Even though he's gonna sprint across the map, I can just use shambles on rage ant then we still have dio's time stop and also our homura bro our team is just goated our team is the dream team bro <laughs> let's go goodbye rage ant man only has 26 million health that is not a lot all right let's go rage ant oh kill him boys Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
officer and what is this bro why are we getting like the hard ones <laughs> we're getting the hard bosses <laughs> hello <laughs> give us something easy like cheetah bro what in the world maybe uh, maybe officer ant is not even that hard because look how much damage we're already doing to him yeah that's 14 million health on the shield all right not bad so far Oh, only 29 million. That Wait, that, this is one of the easiest boss, bro. What? Easy. Let's go. I didn't even need to worry, bro. Goodbye, Officer Ant. GG. Let's go. Let's go. Wave 130, man. Why does it seem like we're struggling? I think it's because we don't have full AoE units. Oh my goodness, it's rage. And why is it so tanky, bro? 44 million health. Hello. And that's on his yellow shield. What is wrong with you, guy? We need to do a time stop. So let's turn off everything. Alright. Use shambles. Use Dio time stop now. Then we can activate our time stop once again. Once the frozen icon is not there anymore. Look at that. That is so useful that they've added that. But now I don't have to count. It's so nice. Goodbye, Regent. Bye bye. Let's go. All right, wave 140. Bro, we struggling right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, if we had full AOE units, we would have performed way better than we are right now. It's a bit unfortunate that we do not have that much full AoE units. One, two, three. You know what? They should add commas, bro. They need to add commas on their freaking damage. Like, how am I supposed to count on how much damage does my stain hero have when there isn't any commas? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three billion. How about Heathcliff? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1.5 billion. It is confirmed that Stain Hero Slayer is way better than Heathcliff. Yep. You heard it here, boys. Bro, why are we struggling? This is why I bring my full AoE units, bro. I swear. We are struggling way too much. Especially in wave 146. We haven't even made that far yet, bro. But... Bro, we are in wave 150 and we are already struggling. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Let our home to first. Make this. A little, uh, I don't know, man. It, I hope it makes it easier for us because this boss. That is literally 160 million health. What in the world, man? That is actually crazy. How are we gonna kill this boss? Oh my goodness, we were able to kill the boss. What in the world? I thought we were gonna lose, not gonna lie. Yeesh. Bro, this is actually mad. Why are we struggling, man? <laughs> I don't get it. Get out of here. It's Rage Ant. Oh my goodness, it's like one of the bosses that I do not want to have in this 
circumstance, bro. What? We're gonna die. We are gonna die here right now, bro. We say bye bye. We say bye bye now. Bro, we have not damaged the boss at all. Hello. <laughs> oh, we need we need our Dio time stop. Man has 75 million health. That is crazy. Come on, units. You can do this. You can do this. But oh, this is nuts. What is happening, bro? This is crazy right now. Crazy right now. Alright, then replace our East Cliff. Can I place him here? Actually, he doesn't have that 40, 40 range. Alright, I think East Cliff can easily kill this boss. GG, let's go. Too easy, bro. Okay, now just replace our Omra right here. Alright, we have two more usage of Law Rooms ability. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, that's one. I mean, that's two. And we have not killed this mutant ant. What? How much health do they have? Hello? Even if we get rid of the yellow health on our rage ant, he's gonna sprint across the map. And we are literally close to our death zone, bro. At least wave 174. If we get to wave 174, we actually beat our previous record. We should turn off time stop and use our dia time stop now all right then use shambles okay is that our last shambles i don't even know bro yo wave, wave 174 wave 174 boys we actually did it what wave 174 boys yay yeah <laughs> yeah Let's go. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Rage Ant. We actually did it. We live longer than the meta team. Oh my goodness, W. W, bro. We survive longer than the meta team. That's insane. That's actually crazy. GG. I am satisfied with this challenge, bro. Oh my goodness, W. W. 182 minutes, that's like 3 hours. That is crazy. Yo, we cook. We're in the ant kingdom. Are we still in the leaderboard? Wait, we're still in the leaderboard. Wait, we didn't beat our previous record. So that is pretty much all of today's challenge of me using my uniques versus anime adventures infinite. If you guys do want to see more of these fun challenges, remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Ooh, let's buy this star fruit right now. Yes. Get.